Hi guys, Darcy from Design to Impress, and today we're working on a Territory Doubled In Head Unit install. So this is the first for me. So if you've been following uh, my page or really any car audio page lately, um, AeroPro has finally released the fascia kits for the BA, BF, and um, X, SX, XY territories. So now we can put doubled in head units into these vehicles and still retain aircon controls and everything like that. So rather than sit here and talk, let's get stuck into it. Designed to impress. All right, so first things first, we want to remove the uh, main ICC unit. So what we'll do is firstly eject any CDs um, because once you disconnect from power, you can't take CDs out. So check to make sure there's no CDs, then we can turn the vehicle off. And then from here, uh, there's plenty of good tutorials online of how to remove these, so I won't go too much into depth, but we just take off the gear surround first. Then we take off side trims. Now we can access these bolts as well as ones down here. Um, so we need to pull this off, which hasn't got any screws in it, normally it should. Pop. Just kick that back a bit. Now we can access this hidden screw behind here. That comes out. The eight millimeter bolts on the side of the ICC are now removed to allow the ICC to be removed. The body control module can now be unplugged. This is best done starting at the right and finishing at the left plug. Brackets can now be removed from the main unit. Now take off the air vents, PCM and fob transceiver. Remove the new fascia kit from the packaging and install the air vents, BCM and fob transceiver.
The new head unit can now be fitted, positioning it flush with the front of the fascia. Now all the wiring can be fitted between the new head unit and the new fascia kit. Alright, so that's now the main fascia and mounting of everything all hooked up. So this can now go back into the vehicle. So now we'll just quickly run the uh, microphone wire up to the pillar so that they have um, Bluetooth phone calls and everything. And then, yeah, get this installed. Alright. What the... F Good old reverse camera wiring done properly as always. Anyway, I'm not here for a reverse camera, so we'll, we'll um, get all this sorted. At least, at least when when you get people that you know, install stuff like this, like now, for example, this microphone that was in, it must have an aftermarket um, um, Bluetooth module but like you know I, I can cable tie it all down which you'll see in a sec but when you get people to do this at least it makes it easier to move that's one good thing God, what do people pay for when I get this done God, all right anyway let's get this removed There's a lot going on under here, so I'm gonna stop the video here, get this finished, and then I'll install what I've come to install. So now we've got our microphone wire ready ran through so we can plug that into the back of the head unit and then the main harness Let's see if we can get this in here one-handed microphone Our main power harness So, 
Now what I'd suggest doing is you've got this main plug at the back and it's got some four tabs in the four corners here. Um, if you release those tabs, you can actually push this plug back inside and that'll give you a little bit more room here to get this in. So it's recommended that you push that back and get that sort of in there and then you've got a bit more depth to get everything in. So, because it is a pretty tight fit in between here. So um, yeah, definitely remove that and get that to fit in. Everything's going to be working first. Yep, steering wheel controls and all that work. There we go. So Aircon controls will work. Do misters work? Air vents. Yes. Feet. Yep. Everything works. Climate works. Cool. Everything works. So now we can put the rest of the car back together and we're done. So the head unit functions as normal. Um, up here we've got temperature controls for dual zone climate. Um, if you have single zone then they operate just the same. So this doesn't do left and right obviously. It just does the temperature. Um, then we have light, uh, track control is it? Uh, door lock, it's door lock unlock. Um, outside vents or in or uh, recyclate air, recirculate air, sorry, um, auto. Fan speed up, trip, so this does trip menu. So you can see average fuel usage and all those sorts of things. Um, then fan speed down. And the cool, the cool thing is with this um, reverse camera input is that obviously when you play around with the aircon controls or anything up here, it puts it up on the info adapter output to the reverse input of the head unit. So any aftermarket head unit, you don't have to have anything specific as long as it has a reverse camera input um, then you can trigger it and yeah access all these features and all these different things and you can push menu and get out of it and go back to your head unit so um, aircon controls do mist uh, temperature all those things as you push it you can change and cycle through the different options that shows where that changes all the vents and what's actually um, where the air is coming from so pretty neat little um, setup really and um, yeah, obviously when you put the, the lights on, it goes to the blue. Um, 
and yeah, dims down the head unit as long as the head unit has an illumination button. So I definitely would recommend if you are going to put a aftermarket head unit in, make sure it has a reverse camera input so you can access those features. Otherwise, you're sort of going a bit blind and not knowing where, you know, by this because it's going through the different modes and it switches them. You don't, act, you can't actually tell what um, what you're doing without having that info adapter. So. Obviously, if you're going to put a double DIN head unit in, which why would you go from a, the unit it was to a single DIN? So, if you're going to put a double DIN head unit in, make sure it has reverse camera um, capabilities, which most of them would. And then, yeah, you're all set. So, not a bad little upgrade. Um, been a long time coming, obviously, but they finally got it done. So, yeah, pretty happy with it. So that's it for the Territory install. Now obviously this is the same for BA, BF as well as the SX, SY Territories. This kit does support dual zone climate as well as single zone. It's all accessed through the menu and options and there's some other little features like um, screen alignment and that. And I didn't actually align the screen in this one because this kit didn't come with the manual because the, the first um, batch of kits that come they didn't they had FG manuals instead so the FG is coming guys I've seen it it looks pretty cool so if you have a single zone climate this will not make it dual zone um, either left or the right arrows will just change temperature for both zones so you can't magically install this and somehow get dual zone that doesn't work obviously but finally we at least get to put in nice quality double din head unit into these vehicles it's been a long time coming um, and yeah now there's more options than just the android based ones which you know have a bit of a clunky interface sometimes and don't have the best sound quality output um, but if you're running dsp and stuff then maybe the features are there that you want um, but at least there's more options and you can run you know a brand name head unit you are a bit limited on the depth so i would definitely recommend going a shallow mount head unit so mechless i wouldn't go anything with cd because they're going to be too deep i mean i mean you could probably potentially maybe cut some stuff out of the back uh, but then if you ever want to revert back and put the icc in where that main power um, clips into that backboard you'd have to have that still there so yeah it sort of gets a bit iffy if you start having a full length uh, full chassis head unit so Definitely try to get something that's a bit shallow to try and fit in. And yeah, other than that, pretty straightforward, pretty easy and a good upgrade to these vehicles, which has been a long time coming. So thanks for watching and stick around, subscribe, like the video, whatever you want to do. I'll catch you in the next one.